welcome to the What Is Video Show. Welcome back after our long break over the Christmas and New Year period. It's nice to be back with my old friend there, Martin Oak Bradley. How are you, sir? Loving the dream. Loving the dream. Uh, we had a few good wee shed sessions over Christmas. Um, mm -hmm. We had uh, we have highlights coming up with myself and Martin and a quick epic thrower. Ooh, it was a thrower. It's quite the thrower. Uh, we had some guests in the shed. We had, we recently had the first round of the Ulster, no, the Irish Championship. The Irish Championship. Um, I had a wee uh, video diary, which I'll share again at the end of the show for anyone that didn't see it. Um, we went to Donegal. We went to Falkara, not Karen Dona. Nah, Falkara. Not Chrysler. Not, not Chrysler. Oh, we went through Chrysler. We went through Chrysler. Um, so the first round winner was Mr. Mark Farrell. Beaten. Who did he beat in the final? Barry Spence. Barry, Barry Spence. 1 0. Tight game. Mm -hmm. Good game. Tight, very tight game. Um, Barry was on form. Our very own Mr. Oshin Kyo Moore. Mr. Havis Man Sabudio. He won the plate, which was. Won the plate. Quite an achievement, knocking me out, and then knocking out John Moore in the final, the win it, so yeah. we're on the Oshie. Shots. Shots. Shots, 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 wasn't it? Shots against me, shots against John Moore. I'm sure there'll be highlights at some stage this year coming up. Um, what about your mates over in, uh, what do you call them, Table Football Monthly, any, any say in their new show, no? Oh, are they having a new show? Ah, it's going to be about like, ski electrics and all. Fucking oh, that's right. It's ah. a video. Yeah. yeah, I'm on the answer. I have no answer, isn't it? But it's a video. So once, uh, Terry and the, what, what do you call him? Keith. Keith, Keith and the there. boys. How can you forget his name? It's your best mate. I know. I just, I'm just around my own head like myself. Uh, once Keith and the boys give up us a video. <laughs> that's it. I'm going to come start the band again, singing and dancing. That was I might, good, man. I might, uh, that might draw me back in. <laughs> There's talk of a, a Subutio band being established. Archie was talking about it. <clears throat> That's right. We've got a drummer. we got a guitar player and a bass player. No, we've got a drummer and a bass player and a singer. Who's the singer? <clears throat> Craig Stewart. Where are you putting yourself in the band? Are you functioning in the band yourself? Uh, I'm like Bez. Top off. Side of the drums. Bez? That'll do. That'll do. That's me just though. I'm going to get a tambourine. A teenage dream. So hard to beat. <laughs> Every time she walks down the street. That'd be me. Just Only no top. Yeah, nipples out, nipples out. I couldn't look at your nipples. I don't think I'd want to see your nipples on TV. It would be quite, quite nice the nipples. same. They're quite nice nipples. I'm not bragging. I don't want to see them. On it's more definitely something I don't want to. On more than one occasion, I've had a compliment of my nipples. All right. Uh, recently, there at the weekend, we had the Major of Paris, and I seen young Ruby on the under six. What months. about that? Eh? Won the major of Paris. Oh, Don Ruby, 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 Ruby. Who won the main Ruby, event? Carlos Flores, I think. Did I? Nightmare. And, I, and did uh, our good friend Alberto Di Maggio and his squad on the team. Oh, very good. The Greeks. What do you call it? No, what do you call it? Bologna Tigers. Oh, Bologna Tigers. The team won it, though. Sorry. Yeah, hey, the team won it. Very good. Well done, Bologna Tigers. Well done, Carlos Flores. And well done, Ruby Matthews. Thank you. Ruby Matthews. What about that, Sensational. Fucking sensational. Started here. Changed their life. 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 You know what I mean? That's all I can say. Uh, so we're we're skipping highlights. Or not highlights. Results, because we've just covered them all there now. Ah, right now. Did you ever get the uh, holiday silver sent over? No? No, the, the, just before Christmas, you made a whole balls of holiday silver. I don't think I get it. Can you aim for I'm next week, sure. Sam? Aim for next week for the holiday silver. 
Try to tell news now. Fucking Christmas has gone away. We're looking to the next Christmas now. You need to keep them boys sweet. You want to get them boys over for the I.O., you know what I mean? The Yanks know we love them. We do. Uh, right, we'll go over and do some fancy football and then we'll have our guest on. A special guest this week um, as we're approaching the Glasgow GP. So before we do that, we'll go over and see fancy football. Right, Bradley. We will start, as usual, at the bottom. Um, Ranger things. Uh, Daniel Lilly. Uh, let me see. 58th place. Martin Oak Bradley. Shh. Oh, my last. No, no. There oh, is 64. So you're six from the bottom. I'm two, two clear of you. Uh, in 56. In 54th. Sorry, 56. You're 58. Guess who's in 57th? Guess who's got the sandwich with the Martin Oak Bradley and the Watson sandwich? Elliot Jude de Bellefontaine. Stuck Elliot in the middle Jude of us. De that is quite the sandwich, eh? With you, isn't it just? Everybody wants to be stuck in the middle of us. That is quite the sandwich. Uh, let me see. I'll move up quickly here. Kian Hogan is 49th. Uh, there go. Gage Badger, 46th. Well done, Gage. Gary, Big G, Gary Downs, is in uh, 44th. Oh, he's fucking miles away from it as well. That's quite good. Barry Spence. Barry Spence is in 40th place. Well done, Barry. Um, let's see. Jeremy Gananian. 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 is in 36th. Uh... Kev Halliday, our buddy down south and uh, way down south, south and way down Australia. Fuck out of Australia, it's not even south till I've said the way down. He, uh, he is in 33rd place, Turkey Turd. Turkey Turd and Turd. Turkey Turd and Turd. Let me see. Shane Elton, 30th. Uh, Shane Elton or Dave Elton? Dave Elton's son. Vin, Dave Don Elton's Finley son. Skinner and Orange Skinner. Orange Skinner is in 35th or 25th and Finley is in 24th. Oh. Stephen, Stephen Gorman is in 23rd. Thomas O'Flaherty is in 22nd. Uh, skip a few here. We'll go up to the top 10, Bradley. We'll go up to the top 10 and get the top 10 done. Uh, Graham Nashley's in 10th. Dylan oh. Barry's in 9th. Terry Arnold is in eighth. Oh. Chris McManus in seventh. Uh, Bernardo Son. Who? Who? Bernardo Son. Who's that? Is in sixth. Who's that? I've never know. heard that name before. Someone's changed their name. It, is that his real pardon? name? It's quite exotic, sorry. Quite exotic. Uh, Jaria Parson is in fifth. Frankie Connolly. Frank Tank is in fourth. Oh. And. Andrew Kent is in third. Oh. Uh, Brian H is in second. And Thomas Regan is in first. Thomas Regan is quite the bit ahead. How many people's on it? 60, 62, Jesus. 64, 64, 64. Thomas Regan is up in front. Um, aye, that's not bad, not bad. Really? So... That's the fantasy football out of the way. Don't need them anymore. Don't need them spectacles. Uh, well, you, you do need them. Because you're quite blind. I know, but sure. Don't need them to see you. I know what you look like, and I know what our guest looks like. Because he's been on the show before. Oh. So he has. Oh, Coming thanks. back for his second appearance, would you like to introduce our esteemed guest? Ladies and gentlemen. The cream of Scottish Sibirio, the one, the only, Mr. Dave Gladman. Welcome, Dave. Hey. Hello. Dave, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. And you? It's a pleasure to have you on the show again. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be on your show. Dave, that looks like, that looks like bunk beds behind you. Are you in bunk beds? Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's not bunk beds. It's just a big bed. It's just a bed, and right, there's a there's a mattress underneath, so it can come out and make two. 
Ah. Oh. It's like a side-by-side bumper. Side-by-side. Side. Well, yeah, yeah, you could say that. Swanky. Dave, how is the uh, horse of preparation going this week for the big the big tournament at the weekend? Um, yeah, well enough, well enough, I think. The, the numbers, unfortunately, keep changing. Right. Up or down? Uh, well, they've gone down and up. Nah. <laughs> you need, you need a, where, where's your cut-off point? Um, well, the draw's on Thursday. So How many are you sitting with at the minute? Manny's 47. 47? So that means um, 11 groups of four and one of three. Ah. And what way, uh, who's, who's the favourite sort of you've got coming? Uh, well, top seed will be uh, Elliot Belfontaine. Oh, good to see young Elliot. Um, then Christian Hartz. No way. Um, He's coming to us too. Alan Lee. Oh. Ah, that's early. Kevin Cordell, Aaron Skinner, Guido Cerullo. Hey. Oh, Guido. Hey, we Guido. Yep. Uh, Mick Hammonds, Chris Bedford, Rudy Peterson. Very good. That's a good yeah, day up there. Yeah. Not well, not well exactly. Except for Guido. Well, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy's quite exotic. Rudy is quite exotic. Is he Italian? Is he German? Is he English? We don't, don't know. know. We don't, don't know. know. <laughs> we'll just call him Italian, won't we? Well, he's, he's registered. He's registered. <laughs> And what about your boys? Dave, are you playing now? Yeah, I will be. Um, or not. Um, so, for example, if we get if we get down to 45, then I will withdraw so that we have 11, 11 groups of four. Right. So, I'm flexible. I may play, I may not. So well, I, at, least, at least you'll I have the, the team competition, won't you, on the Sunday? You'll still get a game somewhere. Yeah, we, we, we've, we've got two games, two, two Glasgow teams playing. Right. Three last year, two this year. And where's the, uh, where are you, the A's or the B's? Is that an insult to ask? <laughs> yeah, well, um, down at, um, at Red Hill in November. <laughs> I was in the A team, but uh, the way I played, <coughs> yeah, I should be relegated to the D. But um, we, the, uh, we haven't, we haven't, and uh, we, we know some guys who will definitely be in the A. It'll be uh, Tom, Tom Burns, Mark Lees, Dave Butler. What about our <laughs> Wally? Is he getting? Our Wally's no player. <laughs> He's not He's playing. Not playing. Is he away on holiday? No, he's, he's going to, you know, it's the Scottish Cup this weekend. Ah, uh, who's he? Party Thistle? Yeah, same as me. Thistle at home to Livingston. He's going there. Yeah. He's chosen the field soccer over the table soccer. Yeah, yeah. That's because he put him in the B team in Red Hill. He never got over it. He put on, he put on a brave face. Yes, if, if I'm not in the A team, I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he's won, the, <laughs> he's won the league. He's won the league. He's very outstanding in the actual league itself. I, I predicted you would be the best team in the B division. It, On the it, B team. It, it did really well. So, yeah, so I don't know what the composition of the, the teams will be next. Yeah. Year. And what about uh, Chad? Is Chad playing? No, Chad, um, he's damaged his wrist. So he's not going to at all. And he's, he's just a baby as well, just uh, just, a, just a week ago. Oh, he had a baby. Oh, congratulations, Chad. Congratulations, Chad. Mrs. Chad. Sorry, Mrs. Ray. Not <laughs> Chad at all. Chad's done nothing. I'm well, sure. he did something. I have a long time ago. But he's, seconds. he's done something to his rest doing DIY, so. Uh, ah, nightmare. Is he going to be about? Taking videos or doing anything? Or? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if he's able to drive to get there. Ah, because he's outside the uh, town. He? Well, he, he lives in Dumbarton. Right. It's, I mean, it's not far down the road. 
Are, not far. Are, are you staying? I know Tom Burns is staying in the hotel on the Saturday night. Are you staying in the hotel as well? No, no. No, no. you're you're close enough. There's a mile down the road from the hotel. Ah, uh, uh, our far is Tom not, out then? Is it not in the Legion? It's in the Legion, yeah. No, I'm a mile from the hotel. Well, it's not the hotel. It's maybe about a mile from the Legion. Something like that. Happy days. Leonardo. Where I am as well. You're staying there. Hey, last year we couldn't get in there. It was fully booked last year, so we made sure we get in this year. We get in early. Yeah. We get in early because it's closer, isn't it? Like I mean, I think last year it was like we were way out in Bray, Bray Head. It was 20, 25 pound a taxi or something every time. Like, it wasn't fucking cheap. But I, I actually think big Jerry Harrington kept putting them on his card and Nobody ever paid him, or he did not come and ask for any money. So, Ooh. well, yeah, you know, you know, Jerry actually paints this weekend. Is Jerry going? Uh, no, no. Nah. What about the young, the young fella, Joe's joking up? No, no, both of them out. No, no, no. foreign traveling. Uh, well, uh, Guido, as you mentioned, um, Christian Haas, I mentioned him, um. So there's, there's a guy coming along with Guido. I had to, that may have been is it his brother or his mate or something that comes that came um, last year? David. Not, not his brother, somebody else. Somebody else. David, is it your man David was over we're here? I thought is Guido not bringing the team over? Uh no. No. I don't think so. Many teams what? have you, Dave? No, I don't think so. What's what's his team? Ah uh, Is that um Gorizia? I'm not sure. Bradley would be the man, sure. though. Can't mind. Well, I mean, I've got the information somewhere here, but not in front of me. Hmm. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Eleven teams. So, eleven. Yeah. So, um, one, one group of three and two of four. Oh, very good. That's then, good. Then, and if you, you at least you're guaranteed a good few games on Sunday. Well, um, yeah. So, so the. There'll be a there'll be a barrage um, of six of the teams, right. and then um, only five. Um, we can play a plate, so it'll be the, the three teams who finish third, and the best of the two fourths. The one who's got the best um, record, better record. Because we only on any time to have a barrage between the, the two fourths, unfortunately. So. Do you think there'll be um, red up early on the Sunday? I know a couple of people are asking for flights and stuff. Do you think it'll be earlier on the Sunday than it is on the Saturday finished up? Oh, definitely. Yes. Uh, I think Frank and our team, he's, his flight's at like, is it half five, six o'clock or something on the Sunday night? I'll be finished that early, will not Dave? It, it, it should be. I mean, the, the Saturday, the Saturday night drag on a bit. Yeah, I think last year it run on the about seven or something last year, and then six or so. And then the Sunday was read up pretty early. Well, the, the Sunday last year, although we had ten teams, it was two groups of five, and so there were a lot of games in there to play. Yeah. So I think it's although we get eleven, it will be fewer games because we get smaller groups. So we should be finished a little bit earlier. I remember last year, Partick Thistle were beating Rangers on the Sunday. Do you remember it? No? Um, yeah, that, that was Scottish Cup day again. No, yeah. it's Cup weekend. Rolls Falls and Cup weekend. Yeah, that, that's right. The manager gets sacked just after that. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish Football Association, David, are going to have to start looking at your schedule before they start organising all these games. I know. It's hmm. disgrace. Are you just need party first? Only get knocked out a round earlier. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you um anything planned the Saturday night? Are you doing any like meals or meeting up or? Right. Um. Yeah. I don't know about that. Um. I don't think so. Tom, Tom may be organising something. Okay. Because he's uh, uh, he's staying at Leonardo as well. So so there's something organised there. Yeah. I think. Is there is there much around that area, around that hotel that you can go to, or? Um, no, it's kind of kind of isolated. There's um a Willow Springs, 
of the owner's life, which is, uh, I don't know, about a 10 minute walk. That'll do. That'll do. We're on a we're on a strict no drinking policy on the Saturday. <laughs> or um, it's a short distance, quite a walk down to Byers Road. Uh, where there's loads of things. Yeah. Places open on a Saturday night. Uh, we might see if that we I think we're staying the Sunday night as well, so probably head down the Sunday night and do something. Yeah. Just keep it keep it simple on the Saturday night because it's a long day, isn't it? After travelling and playing all day and. You don't want to come up late on the Sunday morning, right? No, 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 no. no you have no. a lot to play for on the Sunday. You get booted out, you get in the, you know, recorded in the, the discipline report back to the so. <laughs> our, two, we... our two Scottish players won't let us <laughs> go off track. Marco and Fra- uh, Gareth will keep us in check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got, um, you had Fred Ellis Bell last year. Uh, he's 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 changed. He's back to Hanover, is it? Hanover. Back to Hanover. Um, he's playing the Saturday with. I think he's bringing a guy from Demetrius. I think what is coming with him. But they're not playing the Sunday. They're just staying to watch the Sunday. Mm-hmm. So if there's anybody that's stuck for a player that can't field the team, they could jump in there, couldn't they? I get no points, but not get points. Yeah. Yeah, it won't. It won't be recorded. Yeah. Well, at least they're there. They're there. To, I think they're flights that evening, so they don't really mind just hanging about and cheering people on. Yeah. Well, the other guy you've got coming. That's um, Frank. Frank the Tank. Frank, yeah. Yeah. Frankie Conley. His. Frankie Conley. Yeah, I don't. I don't know him. Yeah, I'm like Glasgow just, native. His brother plays for Dundee or something, or Dundee United or something. What? Aye. Conley, his no. brother plays, plays somewhere in Scotland. Conley. Conley, aye. It's not Aidan Conley, is it? What do you call him? Aidan Conley. Could be, where's he play? Like Kilmarnock That's or something? Or? He used to be with Dundee United, but he's... Aye, uh, he used to play for Dundee United, but I think he's still playing somewhere. He, he is, he's sort of... Going down the leagues. Hey, that's and, his brother. Uh, I think I think he's I think he's still playing the championship though. I think Frankie said he's going to come along on the Saturday or Sunday and watch or something. So you a chance to meet a Scottish footballer. Get him to give out the trophies, Dave. Get him to give out the trophies. There you go, Dave. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll rope him into something. Yeah. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Here we um, normally be asking people to pick a player, the you know, their best player they've ever played against, and we put it into a wee fantasy subudio team. <coughs> what would you say? Who would you say is the best player you've ever played? Um, Off the top of your head, me and, me and Dave had quite the game in Wolverhampton one time. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just mentioning. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. Well, I did um, see when I first retired. I did a lot of travelling and playing tournaments for about three or four years. So I played quite a few folk then, and um, quite a few beatings, of course. Antonio Montagno, he was pretty good. Oh, that's a big name. A big yeah. name to throw out there, Dave. Did he, did he beat so, you bad? <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't lose heavily to him. Um, I lost my head to uh, John Field. Oh, uh, he's... Gibraltar, uh, isn't he? Gibraltar? Gibraltar, that's right, yeah. There you go, Bradley, you know your stuff. Not just um, a pretty face. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to forget it now, because that was the first... That's seven, eight, <laughs> six, seven, eight years ago was, uh, since right. I was doing that. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I went to quite a few countries at that time. Did you have you never played Flores or NM boys? No, you never no. No. experienced that. No. No. <laughs> you know I don't. Nah. You know I, do. I don't. I think I would just. If, what do you get if you don't show up for a game? A three 0 defeat against you? I think if I was drawn against them, I just wouldn't show. Like mm-hmm. I've, learnt, I've learnt my lesson from Rome. Get yeah. to beat eighteen 0 <laughs> So if you don't show up against 
If you don't shop against Taurus, there's a special rule there, you lose 10 mil. Yeah. 10, I'd take 10. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Hello, everybody seems to score against him. Do you ever <clears> notice he, he never wins the nil? You never see him win a one nil or, you know, it's always 5 1 or 6 2 or somebody, every, everyone he seems to play seems to get a wee. Maybe this lets you score to make you feel better. It, it could be. I mean, if you're so good, you can do you can do that. I mean, you do that. I mean, if you're, if you're playing youngsters or folk have just started, you get them opportunities to score. Aye. Right. So, so I he's, he's I an also remember Faro. Faro, when I first started playing him, he used to be like lightning. Never missed a ball. Never missed a flick. Four 0 up. Next thing he was he was flicking past the ball, and you're going, he's fucking letting me in here. I know for the Faro. This is the Faro four. And you get a wee chance against them, but you never score. Yeah. Well, I mean, I certainly do. Some, 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 some players don't. They'll never. They're just concerned about scoring goals and they're not going out there and they're not, they're not, they're not going to concede anything. Uh, yeah. um, I suppose they, they tend to be the better players, but they've got that winning mentality. I suppose Flores is so good that it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter because he's all, even you score, he's going to come back. You know what I mean? Well, if he's playing boys like us, if he's playing big boys up the same level as him, it's a bad tighter. But he's, yeah. if you want, he's no fear of firing his back line up. You know, he's no fear. He, he never seems to worry about keeping a back line and you know defending heavily at the back. He just goes for it, goes, goes. And then some boys will get on the break and he hasn't a great defence left. And if they get in and they're in possession, Get a shot. I mean, the, the top players. I mean, they they get possession, and if you're playing them, and they end up shooting more often than not scoring. So, I mean, my attitude when I was playing back then was, well, if I get the ball, they can score. So I just held possession for as long as I could. Yeah. I watched one of your games on the um, the new channel, the new YouTube channel. You said. <coughs> Charles. Charles. And I, I forget who you were playing, but it was just, it was like you say, don't lose the ball. <laughs> you've, you've heard us. When you got the possession, it was up and down and ticky tacky and really tight in the edge of each other's box. And I, you're like, and I even when I watched that, I learned, you know, to try and do that myself. So instead, you of, sleep. instead of just constantly flicking it long to try and get into the box, you know. Nah. That's good, somebody over there, tight in the corners. Tight, uh, All right. And you learn good, you so get any touches, any close touches. Yeah. Instead of just blasting it. <laughs> Fingertip control, that's what it's called. Uh, oh, like that. Good control, like good that. control. Hey, what about the um the last time we were over there was a couple of young boys that had been playing for you. I know Chad was pretty new when I played him and was uh, there yeah, um, yeah, they were they were um running the Kenzie's boys. But they, uh, they, they haven't come along this season. Ronnie and he should be along this Sunday, but um, the boys haven't been playing, unfortunately. Uh, well, according to Ronnie, they play at home. But they I, I played one of them mm -hmm. in the plate, and it was very good. What a, he was a big, tall, skinny guy with big dark hair. He was about 20-odd. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that's Ronnie's oldest boy. Yeah, he, he played for us for quite a bit before. Uh, but, um, no, he was very, very good. Like. He's a student, and we... Too much. Other he, he came along that day. Yeah, he's a good player. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. good. So it's, it's unfortunate he hasn't um, come along to the club, but he's you know, still not in the beginning. So. Ah, uh, that's a whole job to get from down to Lady Glasgow. Yeah. Get him down to Gareth. Gareth will give him a few games in the, in the shed. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Did you get the goals of the week, percent? You were going to ask you to pick goal of the week. Yeah, yeah, I did, and uh, I looked at all three very closely. Um, the first one, who, who was that scoring the first one? Well, here we'll show we'll, we'll show them here, and then we'll we'll talk about them. So here is this week's goal of the week.
Let's go. Milk. Only started then? No, we're about halfway through. First Ooh. half. Not on the... <laughs> the first goal was, as you say, it was very quick. Um, the goalkeeper didn't have a really chance to get himself placed in the ball was in the net. It was quick, quick really. The second one, um, the goalkeeper should have been ready. I don't think he was expecting the shot. And he was beaten on the near post. Um, what I liked about it, it seemed on the film as if it was difficult to get into that figure to shoot. Yeah. When there's only player sitting beside them. Um, so, yeah, I like that one. The third one, the goalkeeper was ready in position, but it was beautifully chipped into the far corner. Yeah, yeah. So, they were all pretty good, but what was the most enjoyable goal for me was number two. Oh, hi! <laughs> well, <laughs> I liked, I liked the fact that it seemed to be difficult to get in. It didn't seem as if he could get full force behind the flick, but he connected nicely with the ball. The goalkeeper was, because I think the goalkeeper was probably expecting him to play up to the ball. Yeah. But, um, so I think he took the goalkeeper surprise, by surprise. Goalkeeper should have done better. It's just the reason I didn't need a post. But, Fair play to Oshin, and that's my goal of the week. Well done, Oshin. Fair play. It was actually, it was actually quite the match. It was quite the match there. Dave and Oshin played outside himself. Was it 2? Did he win? 2-1? 2-1, I think he beat him, mate. 2-1, he beat him. And Simon's top class. So well done, Oshin. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a fun fact about the last time Oshin went to Glasgow there last year. He played <laughs> uh, Chris Thomas in the first game. He's only off the flight, me and him landed, and we were in 10 minutes. Get ready, you're on first. Chris Thomas, beat him 10 though. <laughs> <laughs> but. So, who part of those guys who won't give you anything? Ah, nah. No sympathy. No sympathy. Okay. Chris Thomas is nearly checking his phone when he's up a pitch scoring. <laughs> <laughs> well, he done well. He ended up playing well the rest of the weekend, so can't, can't slag him off. Um, well, Chris Dave, Thomas is not there. Oh, he might be in the Sunday, but he won't be there on the Saturday. He's not uh, the Saturday. Uh, Saturday. He's not in the Saturday. He's, he's he's playing for Elstow, wasn't he? We Elliot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The super yeah. team. The super team. The super team. The super team. <laughs> so, I think they're going to win. <sighs> <laughs> Dave, if you can try and. Avoid us playing them in the, the team competition. Be great when you're doing the draw there. Yeah. We've, we've got Frank Latank, and he's all railed up, and he's back at home turf. He's back in, hey. back in Glasgow. We've got fucking Margo and Gareth Christie. We'll be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, it could be a surprise party. Gareth is the last time Gareth was given How long am I at Dave? How long am I at Dave? We're no surprise package. What's the price? Yeah, City Table Football Club or Mid Table First Division of. Uh, a wobbly league, remember? Ah, you finished above us. That's right. Did you draw with Emmons when you were in Red Hill, Bradley? Well, your, last, your last game, you won your last game and you um, <laughs> survived <laughs> and moved above us, above us and moved. Goal difference, wasn't it? Wolves <laughs> <laughs> got relegated. That was a shock, wasn't it? It was. Farewell. Yeah. Well, they're playing, but they've got a much weaker team. Yeah. Who's in their squad? Uh, Nick Hammonds is there, but the others are. Um, no Gage or Richard or. No, no, no. no. And Chris Bedford's oh. gone. Chris Bedford. He's yes. away. No. Uh, and, and Chris Short from last year as well. Ah, that's right. They, they had a deadly team last year. <coughs> but. There's a, there's a new seeding system in operation now. 
fooling with the idea of using them and say you feel definite. But um, this new seeding system, at the moment, an individual, the seed, so seed number one goes into group one, seed number two goes into group three, two, and, and so on. And this time you have a pot of the top seeds. So you have, if there's 12 groups, you have 12 seeds, and you draw them out randomly. So they go randomly into each of the groups. So you're not having the top two seeds in groups one and two. Ah, yes, yes. Then you have second seeds. So Ooh. two with uh, 12 second seeds. You are then drawn randomly into the, the groups. And then the, the rest, everybody else was, you know, is drawn in the normal way. You ah. have, there's an option to... To do the same, you could have you could have seed threes and seed fours as well, you know. Yeah. So it made it a bit like you know the the, the European Championship or World Cup. Yeah, unofficial. Is this, is, this, is this a new festive thing? Or is it yeah, it, thing? it was passed at the AGM last year, and so it's now being introduced. It's it's an option, so you don't have to do it. But uh, you, it, might be, it might be interesting to try. Get a, I know. Get a call and see what happens. And I know who'll complain about it if you do it. Hundred percent. Alan Lee will complain like fuck. No, no, no. Alan Lee doesn't complain. <laughs> Alan Lee will cry his eyes out if he's fucking fifth seed and he's drawn into pop number fucking twelve or something. He'll be crying his eyes out. He'll, he'll be first seed. I'll be good. Give it a go. May as well. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe they cover it. Move with the times, Dave. Use of their modern club, celebrating 50 years and all that. That's Starting right. The whole new system. A 50th season, well, it's not a 50th season, but it's 50 years since our first season. Okay. Right. Fantastic. It's amazing. Are you one of the oldest clubs still in circulation? I would say so. I mean, right. if, I, if, if there's any older than us, let them come forward. That's right. Put your drawers. You don't know all them Italian sort of clubs, how long they've been going or started? And well, maybe I don't know. I mean, seventy-three. You know. Seventy-three. You wouldn't get. Yeah, you wouldn't get many starting back in. That South Staff Subirio Club would say there. How long they say they're going? Who? What do you call your man? Mike Bradbury and them boys. South Staffordshire Subirio Club. Or oh, do they? They claim to. Can't they claim? The oldest. I don't know if they actually are. Nah. They haven't got the pizza. they haven't got the fifty year pizzazz of Glasgow Table Football Club, but they uh, and they don't have players that signed in the fiftieth year and are still playing today. And they have have they, have they got three trophies <laughs> that they were competing for back then. So we get we get three fifty year old trophies. Ah. There couldn't be much room left to put the wee plates on, is there? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few years missing. <laughs> the COVID years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's those. Who won in 99? Oh, well, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. No, there, there are quite a few names on the trophies, though. Yeah. Ah, it'd be good to see them sort of things. Yeah. Do you have any sort of photos or anything from when it first started? Did anyone ever? Some, what? Some photos or anything of when you first started? Photos? Um, uh, I've, got, I've got a few photographs. Oh, photographs. It's way, way before digital, of course. Yeah. It's about before. Yeah. Nice. Send them these, we'll stick them up. Yeah, I've got. Um, I've got old newsletters from, okay. from back then. It's good to have all stuff like that, you know what I mean? Old memories. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, Dave, we'll let you go and appreciate you taking the time to come on and I look forward to the draw on Thursday night. Um, be kind, yes, please. <laughs> Me, anyway. <laughs> Are you doing a live draw, Dave, or are you just draw? No, 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 you might be seated. <laughs> 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 well, sure, whatever it is, we'll look forward to it, and we'll catch you on Saturday morning, bright and early. 
Right and early. Yeah. Right and early. Won't be late. Half past yes. nine, kick off, Dave. Well, we, we'll, we'll try to get started as early as possible. The sooner we get started, the sooner we'll get to the end. Yeah. That's what Perfect. It's Dave, thanks a million, man. All right, great to speak to you. Thanks, and good luck yeah. for the weekend, and see you over the weekend. Well done. Get a paint with you. Take care. Thanks, Dave. Right. Cheers, Dave. Bye, man. Bye. All right, goodbye, right. Bye, bye. Thank you, Dave. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully, by the time you are watching this, the show will be uh, on our way to Glasgow, and everybody can enjoy this the night before, hopefully. But you know, time constraints are like Martin O'Brien. Just get it fucking done. Get it uploaded. The people are fed up waiting on you. Waiting on you. It's been fucking how long since the last one? Christmas? We all got out of their beds and sent you a wee Christmas message. And you haven't bothered your hours for a month and a half. Well, I give them a nice Christmas show. I'm constantly fielding, you know, complaints and issues. Well, yeah. Where's the show? What's the show? Here's my results. Where's my results? Why he's not this? Why he's not that? Have you got any results for us this week? No, I don't know. I don't. No. Your show. Not All my right. show. All right. We'll go and see uh, some match highlights from what, like I said earlier, me and Martin Oak in the shed. Here it is. <laughs>
Bradley. Bradley. See what happens when you hump the table. Now you know what I mean. You hump the table and you know what I mean. The table humping is organic. It comes out naturally. Ball up, Jim. Bang, bang. 3-3. And then I went on and beat Mr. Seamus Stewart. That's right. 1-0. 3-0. 3-1. 2-1. 2-1. There was a few. He, I think he beat me today. The return. It was good. It was great to get him up. Great to see him good. again. Uh, so you've no results? Nothing? Good results at the beginning. I know you, you want don't to, have any. You want, to do, you want to do rush the results at the beginning. So I have no creative control. It's your show. So let, let the people decide when they want to see the results. They want let you the firing them out at the start. Let the people sing. Let the people sing. Right. Yeah. Martin Oak Bradley, we're going to leave you with, uh, in case you haven't already watched it, it's on the YouTube channel, but video diary from the first round of the Irish Championship in Fulcara. Hosted by Johnny Gossi Video, Brenton Rogers, and Frankie Connolly. Well done. Fantastic day. Fantastic Great event. day. Everything. They had everything. Great setup. Great food. Tea, coffee, waters, chicken curry. Curry. Sandwiches. They upped their game big time. They upped their game. That was a, that's a big fucking statement in the first round. Give you the full highlights of it for next week. Okay. Perfect. Great. We'll leave you with the uh, video diary. And folks, remember, Bradley, keep on flicking. Video diary for the first round of the championship. We are heading to sunny seaside town of Krishna. Huh. We are going to the sunny seaside town of Okara. Sorry. We have our wee uh, tank keeper there in the back. And we have the grumpiest man in Sabudio, Martin Oak Bradley. He just loves Donegal. Don't you love Donegal, Martin? No, Donegal. <laughs> he loves Donegal. Really does. I swear. So we are here in sunny Pokhara, at Kreisluck, and we are at the venue. This is one of the northernest points of Ireland. It's windy as fuck, and we want to go inside and see what the venue's like. Looks nice from the outside. This is the outside of the venue. We are nowhere near the sea. Found two retrobates on the way in the door there. Model himself, Mr. Martin Oak Bradley. Yep, the Sexiest man in the video, apparently. Used to be. I've seen Q, Muir. Palace man. Palace man in the video. We'll see what's happening inside. Aye, he wants to tell us all. Go ahead, I It was great to get away at eh, but day away with the lads at the video today. It'd be fantastic. Walk in this beautiful centre. First time you're here. The wife's voice up on the screen. <laughs> 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 Call me all the names of the <laughs> Call me American everything. For people that don't understand, <laughs> Brendan is playing the D dairy video or the northern. What what was the show? The Flex Flex here. Flex here. Uh, the BBC program on the World Cup last year. And it's on the big screen. Now his wife is on the big screen yeah, as he walked in. <laughs> you think you're getting away from her? No chance. Here's our righties. Right, well, what's the crack <laughs> Oh, there we go, Donegal Sabudio. There's a big screen that I've seen his way from. So, first two games, beat by Barry Spence 2 0. Drew two each with Brenton Rogers, or one each with Brenton Rogers, so keeps me alive in the group at the minute with two games to play. Me and young Zara are going to walk up to the city centre and find a local establishment and have a little Guinness, Coke, and a packet of crisps. See where we end up. Fulcara, the place where you can just park fucking anywhere. We have found the corner bar. It's on a corner and it's a bar and it has a pint of Guinness on the front, so it's good to be alright. We have found the corner pub and it looks like a tasty pint of Guinness. Look at that boys. Good Donegal Guinness there. And that sprite for the wee woman. If you've ever seen Chameless, this is the Donegal version. Trust me. Alright. <laughs> 
I think it's a headbanger or a dude with a headbanger. <laughs> Well, folks, that's me home from Bokara. Uh, the rest of the group matches were pretty good. Ended up with a win over Sean, Sean, John Connolly. Uh, beat him 2-0 and then all in for the big final game in our group against me, Daniel. Had to beat Daniel and hope Barry beat Brenton Rogers. And so it was all guns blazing. Went one 0 up against Daniel. Went two one down against Daniel. Brought it back to two each, and then he beat me four two. So I ended up in the plate, and so did Daniel because Brendan beat or drew with Brendan drew with Barry one each. So them two went into the next round of the main competition. So I got Ian Greer, old friend of ours, uh, original member from twenty sixteen when we set the club up. Ian's back in the game the last year or so, and me and him had a great game. 3-2, I beat him. It was another seesaw game. 1-0 to Ian, 2-1 to me, 2 each, and then I won 3-2. Uh, got into the semi-final of the plate, and my good friend, Oshin Moore, beat me. In shots, 6-5, but it was great shots. Um, he scored a cracker to win it. Um, in the other... Main competition, Martin O got knocked out in the semi-final to Barry Spence 1-0. And Mark Farrell put out Kenny Beggs in the semi-final. Kenny Beggs, defending champion of the championship. And then it went to Barry and Ken, or Barry and Mark Farrell in the final. And Mark Farrell beat him 1-0. Um, and then in the plate, our good friend, Oshin, beat John Moore. On shots, no, no, after full time, and Ashin won in shots again. So Ashin won the plate, and Mark Farrell won the main competition. So great day. Uh, have to say, well done, Donegal's video. Great competition, great venue. Uh, Chicken Curry was sublime at um, the little interval after I had two scoops down the wee local corner pub. Um, tea and coffee, water, everything brilliant, couldn't complain. 10 euro entry fee was well, uh, well worth it. Fair play to Brenton Rogers, and of course, well done to Classically Trained if you follow him on social media. Frankie Connolly, Frankie, they had everything big screens, timers, uh, everything, it was perfect. Great venue and great start to the championship and well done everybody and we'll be in Valamina in March and we'll keep you posted. Cheers! And as I say in the game, keep on flicking.